if um, you're saying we're in the middle of that continuum, is right. that where you're going? Well, well, if if at that extreme, the possibility of any sort of intervention might be may be precluded. But right, I think that, and this is sort of the walk away from this, is that if we have the capacity to find, or we have to seek first and be open to and find the right kind of relationship, lots of things can happen. Right, lots of big things, good things. And I think sure. that is um, the the idea that uh, being open open to experience. You talked mm-hmm. about that in other ways in different shows. You talked about it here today. That that's a part of the light triad is being open to the to learning something new, open to mm-hmm. experience or and, the experiences of others. And, and that may be an openness that, to some degree, is connected with the possibility of pleasure, but not just that. Okay. You know, because if you think about it, an element of mm-hmm. of uh, you know. Pleasure seeking it is a cornerstone of some form of predation. To be able to see someone that you find attractive and then target them so that you can achieve some sort of sensual satisfaction as a result of their initial superficial impact on you. Right. Um, uh, if if taken the right way, it becomes a you know a love song by Paul McCartney. I guess he wrote he wrote that silly love song thing. Um, yeah. Um, taken the wrong way, it becomes a, 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 a true act of predation, a, a, lo- a, 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 a use of the other in a way that they can be used and disposed. You know? right. So, But I think that there is, in each of those instances, there's the potential to have a relationship that can broaden and expand. And that even those of us who didn't get something when we were younger, or those of us who've been damaged, there's that famous line by, I think it's Menninger, the difference between someone who's psychotic and someone who is a psychopath is one is an open wound and the other is covered in scars. And that there's still the possibility, even in someone stuck in covered in scars, for some capacity for connection if that's achieved then that individual can change that's what therapy's about right right people become open to themselves the world and to someone else in a controlled setting and something can happen well let's uh let's be hopeful about that but uh, but uh sorry but these folks are not interested in what you have to say more than interested well, in what but this they is, have to say but this is the hook I think Why that should I be here if I know everything, right? Even someone covered in scars, still underneath those scars, has the same heart that you do. It is possible that someone could come into therapy for the wrong reason and leave having gotten what they needed. That's always possible. Right. That's part of why I like um, uh, relational-based therapies. 